Hey there, it's Alexi. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be reacting to the second official teaser for the Mic Drop remix by BTS. And this aired right after the AMAs, but for some reason it didn't air for me because they just decided to play the news because they don't understand my priorities. Um, and so I found it. I'm going to react to it, watch it right here with you, and then I'll probably just give some of my thoughts and feedback from the AMAs. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so they're behind like, in like that room from the first one. Oh. Oh god, okay. <laughs> So that was super short. I'm just going to tell you all the things that went into my mind. It looks like there's going to be a lot of outfits and stages for this. The smoke really makes me feel like it's going to be kind of like a riot kind of theme. You kind of get that cut from like the oppression uh, kind of that you see with them being in that box kind of in like a press conference set and being kind of controlled. In the first one you see Steve Aoki kind of like controlling him with his like mixing board, like his DJ thing, I don't know what it's called. Um, yeah, that looks really good. I saw someone kind of um, tie it back to No, um, their song No in like that music video, and I can kind of see where they're getting that from, because that was super like controlled, you gotta do this, 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 and this, um, and that's kind of how this is, but I'd say it's not a direct sequel to No, as more of it's like no past they've grown up both literally and like metaphorically and now they're doing something else with their life which would be like being performers as opposed to students but like there's still that sense of control that the people in the school in no kind of gave um i usually don't get into theories but if i had to pick one just like, in my perspective, that would be it. But I'm super excited. I'm pretty sure it comes out the 24th, if I remember correctly. And your girl's gonna be waiting for it. So for the AMAs, I was super happy, super proud, and just amazed to see all the positive reactions that they received. I mean... They muted the fan chants in the live thing because the fans were so loud, but if you watch the fan cams, especially the ones where people are sitting in like the mezzanine upper area, you can hear everything perfectly. I was crying all day, um, like thinking about their performance, and then they actually performed, and then hearing all the fan chants. I probably listened to them for like another half hour. I was just on Twitter watching like the same three videos on loop, hearing those fan chants and just crying. Cause I know whenever I watch them from the comfort of my home, I was yelling at the top of my lungs. So I could only imagine what the people who were there were doing. And from what I saw on Twitter, a lot of people who were around armies in the audience were like, their fans know what's up, you know? And it just made me feel super proud, especially since I followed them ever since their debut back in 2013. And seeing how much they've grown really just shows how potential never stops, how you can keep going with what you love, keep growing, keep expanding, and just go off to do things that some people never would have thought would have happened. Because who would have thought in the past let's see, they've been around for four years, who would have thought in like the past five, six, seven years that a K-pop group would perform at the AMAs? Like, I mean, I saw Super Junior win a Teen Choice Award a couple years ago. I've seen, um, like, when other groups have won other international awards, whenever they beat out Justin Bieber at the BBMAs for the best social, um, interaction with fans. And it's just super heartwarming. It makes me know that what I do, just streaming the music videos, buying the albums if I can, it makes an impact. Sharing their tweets, tweeting about them, just talking about them makes a difference, you know? People 
might feel like, oh, I'm an international fan. I can't do much because I'm not in Korea. Well, you can still buy their albums if if you have that chance to. Um, you can stream their music videos. I Need You just hit 100 million views last night when they performed at the AMAs. And that's a major milestone, you know? International fans have more power than some of them give them credit for. We need to remember that our power needs to be used for good in a positive way to show that we not only represent the fandom and all people who are there when no one is around, but also the group as a whole. BTS cares for us and wants us to do well, so in return we have to give that same image. Like they say, love yourself, like love myself, do that but also on a wider scale of our fandom. The more positivity we put out, the less negativity we can receive. That goes for any fandom. So let's stop fan wars, please. And just keep up the work for our boys. Let's keep supporting them in what they do and make sure that they keep living their dream to the fullest. If there's anything else you want to see from me, leave a comment down below, like if you want to, subscribe for whatever reason, and I will see you next time. Bye!